A huge challenge in today's society is utilizing private data without revealing it. Our location data is incredibly sensitive, our health data, our social data. It's a massive problem and one that secure multi-party computation can help to solve. Secure multi-party computation, it's a fascinating notion which talks about the ability of different parties sitting in remote locations that are able to actually collaborate and compute a joint function of their private inputs without revealing anything but the result. We've come a long way from the late 90s to today, starting with pure theory, understanding what can be done in principle, to making it efficient enough to be used in practice, to now actually pushing it out to practice, and even commercialization, which is where MPC is today. One of the use cases, it's really about enabling people to protect cryptographic keys in a very novel way, instead of storing them in one place and saying, I'm going to build a fortress around this key so that nobody can steal it. We split the key into multiple pieces and put them in different places and compute without ever bringing it together. So an attacker would actually have to breach multiple places and that becomes very, very hard. MPC or multi-body computation is actually a very complicated notion but we can explain it in a way that's very simple, at least the result that we get. So what's an ideal world? In the ideal world, there's this one person that everybody trusts. Not only does everybody trust them, they're actually incorruptible. And if we wanted to do a secure computation in such an ideal world, it's really easy. Everyone just sends their inputs to that trusted party on perfectly ideal secure channels that nobody can break. That trusted party computes the function and sends back the result. We all know that we have privacy because the only thing that I saw in this ideal world is my input. Of course, I know my input. And the output I got back from the trusted party. Also, I know that the function is computed correctly. So the ideal world is a great place to live in. Unfortunately, there is no ideal world, but an MPC protocol simulates an ideal world. So we have Alice, Bob and Eve, they're three cryptographers and they want to work out their average salary. Alice takes her salary and she adds a really, really large random number to her salary and sends it to Bob. And Bob gets this number, which actually reveals nothing about Alice's salary. So Bob takes that number and adds his own salary and sends it to Eve. So she adds her salary to that as well and sends it back to Alice. Alice, all she does now is subtracts the large random number and what she has is the sum of the three salaries. You divide that by three, you get the average. And you can look that nobody learned anything but the result. That simple example is important for appreciating this is even possible. So one of the things that's important to understand about MPC is this is not yet ubiquitous technology that you take off the shelf, install and run. It still needs a lot of expertise. But can we have pharmaceutical companies interact with HMOs, hospitals, and so on and so forth to do research on health data without revealing anything, that is actually possible already today. Can we do statistics? Can we compute averages, standard deviations, medians? Yes, we can solve those problems very well today. And we uh, can do things like um, inferences for machine learning. We can do that efficiently. There are a lot of problems we can solve already today. And that means that there are real applications that we can and are solving using MPC.